I love the ocean. I feel comfortable in the ocean. I go after the main study and you know, I just relax. But I can go for the go and come back safe. My name is Trevlin, but I know as Doggy. Well, I enjoy fishing too because I'm holding fish. <laughs> if I hold fish, well, I still enjoy it. That's what I love about other fish. Fishermen is very important towards the communities. Besides the community, well, the Trinidad and Tobago and the world. Because people eat fish a lot. I love to eat it because I don't, I don't really fry fish, but I love to polish fish. And if people can do like me, they live longer. <laughs> I fish in the deep, so when it's the nesting, I don't hold it. I go, go in four miles off to the fishing. And this is why I don't hold it. Either. But see, my little turtle, turtle, I think it's very important to, to take care of them. Because they, they can have themselves in what we like. In the ocean, get tired and it. They can't take out themselves. So when, if you leave all, 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 all that turtle, not much, she will die. But once she can move this trip and go, she will not come and she will, she will die. The sea, internal water there, the, the leather back, the green, the off the, the leather back is as she, back, she big and black and broad. The leather back is looking at me. And you don't want to move. She'll bounce you. You know what I'm saying? She, yes, yeah, she'll bounce you and she'll she basically rap. And she'll do something to her. You're the blame. Yeah, it's by the green, but there are different shapes also. They pick up a different layer, a different shape. The colors, everything is different. In them too. Well, the hawksbill, the, the shell more pretty. The, the hawksbill and the green now, they are very smart animals. Especially the hawksbill. The hawksbill come, come on a show here. When you're walking down the beach at the point in time, I don't know if you realize. Somebody come in. So you get about these four flippers. Take this in. The green do really move so fast like the like young bill. The green more innocent, but the young bill very smart. But I rather the young bill. I, I, like, I, I like his style, I like his style, and how she doesn't move, how she doesn't watch. I would say poaching is the biggest threat to our green and hawksbill turtles, whereas the bycatch issue is the biggest threat to leatherbacks. Out in those seas lie a hidden danger, the fishermen's nets. Every year about 3,000 leatherbacks will be caught in nets. The fishermen spotted it tangled in nets. A friend of mine asked me how to, to spend the night in the sea. I decided, okay, I will go. And like, I come like the first 10 minutes, we slack in this net. The guy told me, look at the net in the So I come, meet the net in the net. He said, yes, he pulled back, he, he, he take it back up a little bit, take it back up, take it back up, and stand back, and he ended up, he ended up with nine turtles. I make a out in my life and I go back and fish in the sea with no net, the green net going to the nesting. Well the now what has happened now the green net they hold more fish in the green net because them time I the fish will be more soaked on the water. The, the reason why the white net don't catch it as long as you go in the four to five miles off nesting ground. The deeper you go, there's no today. So are you basically then sacrificing the amount of cash you could get by using the white net instead of the green? Yes. Today, this afternoon, I put up on it this early on this morning. There's a white net up along this early on this morning. And this afternoon, I'm looking around, take it up to see how many fish we get in it. Hopefully, that we ain't bumping turtle. Because they never let down guard at the moment. You understand? So, we hopefully that thing goes smooth. Get to get out to the ocean and get back to the land safe and so on. You go for it. 
around the world that um, turtles have always been a good source of meat for people and have been harvested over the years as evident, archaeological evidence of, of turtles being consumed. Um, in Tobago, I believe the earliest evidence we have is about 3,000 years ago um, from yeah, what they call archaeological middens or remains of um, the society who lived there at the time. Uh, we have some really interesting um, detailed accounts of from Spanish sailors in particular on their arrival in the Caribbean around the turn of the 16th century, um, describing just how abundant sea turtles were, you know, covering the islands, um, so abundant in the water and on the beaches. We know that there's some evidence of, of fishing by French settlers and other um, inhabitants of Tobago in the 18th century. And even at that stage, there was some export of tortoise shell as well to Britain. Because the turtles were so abundant and so easy to capture, um, we see that even within 150 years, a lot of um, sea turtle populations were really almost decimated. Um, towards the end of 2010, there was a group called Trini Eco Warriors and they filmed the slaughter of a green turtle. And they put that up on social media and it got a lot of traction. Besides the inhumane practice of keeping these turtles on their backs for up to a month so that the meat is fresh at the time of sale, these turtles are becoming increasingly rare. We present this video in an attempt to persuade our government to enact new laws to protect all turtle species in our nation's waters. Quality pictures, aren't it? <laughs> yeah, no. You want it? Yeah. yeah we are, uh, I want to kill it now. Not yet. Let's switch it. The night will be too not easy, easy. Right, Arang? Right. Let me take that and put it. That is thick. And so you don't know. You take it and go now back to Europe. And you say you pull back your head. You don't put more than half of blood, eh? He did. He did. He did. It was shown on the traditional news media as well, a lot of newspaper articles as well. And it got people talking because I think a lot of members of the public weren't even aware that we had legal turtle mm -hmm. fishery.
and have a we protect it. We will more slaughter our uh, oxbell and uh, green back. Although they same way lad you will have a protected, they can get locked up. The same way. You understand? But they're more plentiful. Right. On we coast here because they're going right here on, on, on the shore and you see them coming up, up every minute. Y'all does ever feel bad eating your turtles? No, it's just very nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's much man, it's a real sweet meat. It's a very nice meat. What's it? Very, very nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have to get the right to tell people to cook it. Yeah, they can curry it, yeah. curry yeah. stew it, they can stew it, they can barbecue piece. You understand what I mean? You can get a big kit. We have put the bunks up, our spill. Yes. No time we wait. We bounce up a leather back. No. Once it's not in the net, we don't have no time with that. That leather back to the like a inch and dinosaur. One day, 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 Since we have changed the world to meet the total of the world environmentally sensitive species under the EME Act, it's $100,000 and two years imprisonment, the maximum penalty. There's an international recognition for trying to be in total of the total. In fact, there's this young lady who in charge who is the nature seekers, right? Um, Susan Lacan. She had been recognized by CNN as a hero for her work she did with her clothes. We are, we are having such a fantastic time with this woman. We, we are sitting down, we are sitting down waiting for the hatchet to come out, and she's there running up on the beach. Susan has found a clutch of young ones, and she's picking them up and rescuing them from the birds that are right above her head. I'm totally to the crazy. I am passionate about it. I will be on the tour beach all the time. I just love all the activities that have to be on the beach and so on. And I started seeing these beautiful animals with just a few pounds of shoulder missing, missing. And I really wanted to become um, a part of a group or organization or a purpose to help eradicate this ills that was plaguing the community. So basically, I wanted to be the change. I wanted to make a difference. I wanted to be a part of history in Matura. The, the intent of Nature Seekers was to actually be able to have a household name. When you hear KFC, you hear chicken, Nature Seekers, turtles. I remember once we had captured some poachers, they were stealing eggs and so on. The range, age range was about from 18 to about 13. Rather than send them to prison, we would have been it would have been a disaster in our community because the families then would have killed us on that beach. They would have been mad with us and so on. So we woke out a win-win situation with the police, the forestry division, wildlife section and us. And we got these young men to come and help us weigh these circles on weekends and public holidays. And it changed their perception and it developed a lot of pride as well within them. And today these families will still bring people to us and say these are the people who kept your father out of prison and so on. What we have done has contributed positively in changing a community from a paradigm shift of creatures and killing a beach that was once classified as a graveyard. When you go down, carcasses everywhere, it stinks like hell. Now it's like an active maternity ward. When you see turtles coming and nests and no carcass anymore. You see any turtle at all, Augie? Turtle. In um, Tobago, at least, during the pandemic in 2020, because the beaches were closed, um, there was no exemptions provided for 
patrollers. So there was no presence on the beach to deter poachers as they normally would. And I had a lot of reports from various groups that they were, they were um, recording more incidences of poaching than they normally would. Around the island, people confirmed that they see a higher activity, um, simply because many people love their dog. In the early parts of the pandemic, we weren't really focusing on the beach as we should have. And we didn't empower the groups to go on the beach because it was legal. We have no taking steps to do that. Yes, sir, send over. Okay, I can. We viewed the turtles and I fell in love with it immediately. And I said I had to be part of this. But I love animals. So that's why I can. White light has to be off, and the red light to be lit. You can notice, right? Mm -hmm. She nested all the way back here, right? This is where the nest was. All the way back here. She kept on moving forward, right? And that's the dummy pit that she's digging here. Okay, poachers do come to look for the eggs. They would think where the dummy pit is, is where she nested. And they would dig there and find no eggs because the nest is all the way back here. So this is why we call this the camouflaging process. So you would not be able to tell where the eggs are. created that an awareness on the beach. However, with the fisherman's net, a lot of turtles are being caught. So that's now a big ill that needs to be addressed. How do we create alternate fishing technique for the fishermen during the peak nesting seasons? The incidental bycatch is where the fishermen will go in the quest to create sustainability through fishing for their families with the gill nets. And they, we call it the curtain of death where you put it from top to bottom, and the turtles must come up every 15 minutes to breathe. Once entangling a net, she will drown. From what I understand, if you go drift net fishing in northeast Trinidad in the middle of the nesting season, it's quite likely that you will catch a turtle almost every time you go. So some of them will try their best to untangle the turtle and sometimes they feel it's impossible or too dangerous and we know that, that fishermen um, may kill the turtle on purpose in order to then be able to retrieve their net easier. Is it illegal to kill these turtles if they get caught in your net as a fisherman? Mm. <laughs> we net 
That is the most important part because we are fishing the next day to feed the family. Yes, you even have big hole in here, that some, some man will take, 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 take the loss. Some, some man can some man can afford to take the, the, the loss. There though, there is a fish I'm going to tell you. If I keep it dead in a minute, I'm not going to let them eat it. And I know somebody I can make a money with it. They done dead already. So, I lost about two, three days day fishing it. Profit loss. You understand? But one of them big motherfuckers come down there and drop my head. You understand what I mean? That's what it's for. Well, as I said, they are doing damage to themselves also because of what they do with that type of country. So it's a, it's a form of this uh, um, revenue for our country. They don't see how the system and government make up, they ain't really doing nothing for country people, I should say. So we as country people trying to live off the land and the sea. You have a lot of people from different countries come to China and have a certificate. When it's for the country, they report an exchange. What at the end of the day, we have to live, we have to provide. You understand what I mean? We are, we are, we are fortunate to have our government work. If, if you could get to lose them from the net and manage to try to lose it and it, it go away. If, if not, well, I'm going to see the net. There is thousands of dollars for net. We care about how we do things. Don't want to make enemies for the people, but we have work a team with them. From that net, we can like how we and the land. We need to do the same thing with the fishermen out there and see. Junior in the city, that's the expedition in the sea. See what her woman walk, walk a white net under pressure. She has seen my lot go through life. And what's what we have to do with her. Well, some of you are doing the whole white net also. You have to hold on to this, so you're not going to be bothered down at that moment. Something I say, well, but I didn't pretend to hold it, but it happened. So I said, well, at the moment, not going to be at that point in time. The journey was nice and everything was cool and comfortable and peaceful. But I'm going to be safe and come back safe. A turtle, it takes within a thousand babies, one may reach maturity. Survival rate is very low because of the amount of natural predators both on the land and in the ocean. And you will find that. A turtle will sometimes within 20 to 30 years to reach maturity to come back to lay. So it's a lot of struggle. And after she would have forgo all these ills and become the egg bearer, she using that migratory route to come back to Trinidad is caught in a fisherman's net. It's a great loss, it's a sad situation. Um, and but we need to address the sustainability of our fishermen in terms of their quest to feed their families. A solution is that people ask and people 
I don't know, I can't see. That solution is very hard because telling me someone to win, you see, it's very hard. If you had to pay him, how money can you pay a fisherman to not go and fish for a living? People need to be educated in terms of the role these turtles play in our ecosystem because to a fisherman, he don't know how financially feasible a turtle is to him because turtles control the jellyfish population. There's so much as individuals we can do to make our environment more livable because when the last tree would have gone, mankind would be no more.